failing is really a pit stop um, along the road to success, right? Failing means you tried something, you attempted something. Maybe it didn't necessarily go the way you wanted it to go, but you stepped out there and you tried something. So like I have told my kids and I tell you all's kids on Sunday morning that, tell me how you failed. I want to see, I want you to fail a lot. I want you to fail often. I want you to fail early, right? And get just get used to that process of having to get yourself back up, dust yourself off and keep it moving. So with that being said, Tell me, because if you know if you fail, but you've learned something, it's really not a failure. You really don't take the L, right? So tell me how you have failed this past week. And it could be anything. It could be way, maybe a way that you handled the situation that you thought was inappropriate. Maybe there was something you were trying to start doing. You didn't really start doing it. Maybe you talked yourself out of continuing on the fast. Tell me how you failed this week and what did you learn? So I'm going to comment. Oh, she got her hand up. Yes, ma'am. Sierra, I got you next, Leah. Okay, um, I'll be really quick. Um, I actually had a conversation with Auntie Robin last week because I didn't start this until Sunday. So um, she just told me that if I do fail to kind of like get up and keep going because I am so hard on myself. Um, and by me starting Sunday, because I wanted to celebrate my birthday on Saturday. But anyway, um, I had failed yesterday just that quick and I was so so mad and upset with myself I made some coffee because coffee is my thing yes. every morning and so it was, it's part of my routine and yeah so I didn't have school I got up before the kids or whatever and made the coffee and took a sip and was like oh I'm not supposed to be doing this and I really I did not finish it nearly threw it away but I had to remember what Auntie Robin said and was like don't beat yourself up because my mom had I done this maybe a couple of months ago, I would have been like, all right, well, keep going, keep failing, like drink the cup of coffee, see you next year. I'll try it again next year. Um, so I didn't look at it as a failure. I looked at it as like, all right, God, forgive me. I just won't have no coffee tomorrow. And I went and got my water bottle. So Robert, I appreciate your words, that conversation we had the other night. Um, and then that is it for me, y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Love Thank you. you. Love Good you. night. Good night. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. And we we actually talked about that last week about, you know, making sure, because I know I, I have a candy dish that's right here by my front door that leads into my office. And it's just a habit for me to walk past there. And I have to like remind myself almost every day, don't pick up a mint out of that candy dish. You're not supposed to eat out of that because it just becomes a routine habit. So, yep, absolutely. I appreciate you sharing that. So, Leah. Yeah, so... um. Yesterday was my, my, my fail, the, you know, my failure. I call myself trying to like, you know, I'm off of social media. Every year I, I fail some social media. But this year, since we got the whole podcast thing, I was like, I'm going to just focus on trying to help with that stuff, right? Like, I'm not going to do any of my normal um, searching, you know, the web for stuff that I like. I'm going to just focus on that. So yesterday I went on to TikTok. Mind you, I took all of the apps off my phone. I downloaded the app so I can get a particular video off so I can build our Facebook page, right? So I didn't even realize that after I got the video, I started scrolling. Like, it was quick because my mind automatically just starts to scroll. But what got me in line was that I came across Rev Page, right? This is the first time I seen it and I followed it. And when I hit it, I was like, oh my God, I ain't even supposed to be on here. I'm like, he gonna see that I followed him and I already said that I'm off of social media. So like I was corrected like immediately, mainly because I seen that and I hit it. I hit it without even thinking twice. You know, I'm just like, oh, all right, let me follow, you know, cause I see it. But it was a correction like right there. And like, as soon as I did it, I came right off and I deleted the app again. And I said, I'm not gonna use what we're doing for, you know, the business or the podcast thing as an excuse to be on there. I need to not be on there because even with doing that, it opens the door for me to roam and look at stuff. And now I'm like 10 minutes in, not even realizing that I'm I'm liking and, you know, following people and I'm not supposed to be on here today. So I um I did feel like that and I, I did get it together. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Anybody? Uh Oh, yep, me. Yeah. I, I want to say I felt yesterday and today. I had started Zumba when we first began uh, the classes at home 
you know, I do Zumba. It's, it's called um, Gospel Zumba. And uh, I was really enjoying it, like did it all week and, you know, just getting into it. Yesterday, I really didn't feel like it after work because Mondays are my late days. So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do it today. Today came home, went out and shoveled the snow. And I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it today. So for me, that's a failure um, because it's something that I really wanted to do. It's something that I really want to continue on in. And, you know, I, I fell for two days. Um, so I will get back on it because it's amazing you asked this question. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to, you know, uh, be honest. Like I failed in that and I, I don't want to. I want to continue to do it. I enjoy it. So I don't understand. Yeah, I know. I, I get it. I get it. You know, because, you know, the body will tell you, you know, will, will fool you into thinking, you know, oh, it'll be okay. Okay, you know, yeah. don't go, but it's like we know, like if I stop doing something, it's easy to that's why I tell people be careful about like missing church, right? Just missing church yeah. because just because because you know, once you stop going, once you don't go one Sunday, it's easy to oh, okay. Well, I miss this Sunday, I'll go next Sunday. And before you know it, you know, weeks have gone by and you haven't been in church. So right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I know for me, one of the things that I wanted to um, do during the fast, so I wanted to make a practice of it, is that I always um, study, you know, in the morning time. I give myself 30 to 45 minutes before I get start to get ready. But I wanted to end my day with just going back and kind of reviewing my devotional, you know, or some of the scripture that I started with. And um, the evening that I had the migraine, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to lay this, lay this down. But prior to me laying down, like there were other things that I worked on that I could have actually been, you know, doing. So I wasn't watching TV, but I was doing like work. And I was like, I could have used that work time, which made the headache get worse and use it as some time to actually, you know, look at that, you know, look at that, you know, the, the scripture and whatnot. And so that was like maybe like two days where I, you know, I did that where I was just like, I just need to go to bed. And just went to bed without, you know, doing that. So, but I got back into the habit because, you know, I, that's one of the things that I really am focusing on doing is that waking up with the word, going to bed, you know, with the word. Amen. Amen. I love it. I love to hear the stories of getting back up, dusting ourselves off. I know for me, uh, my failure would have to be that I allowed this, this shoulder pain to kind of get the best of me some days, right? I would just kind of get a little bit discouraged about this pain and let it and be focused in on it and not allowing myself because, you know, and I'm, and I'm kind of a persevere push through kind of person, but I found myself um, a few days just really kind of harbor, you know, just focusing on, in on it and allowing it to kind of take me down a rabbit hole of um, giving myself excuses for not doing certain things. And so I was just grateful to the Lord for just kind of illuminating that to me to say, you know, you got, you can't, you got to keep moving. It's not, and not to say you got to do anything to re-injure yourself, but you got to, you know, I'm not sure how long this pain is going to stay around. I mean, you know, I'm in my fifties, it might take out for a while. So I got to, I got to learn how to work past it. Right. So, um, yeah, so I, I know that that for a moment that that was a failure, but I'm glad that the Lord illuminated that to me so I could stop whining about it and get back to work. But one thing that I I'm, I definitely am, you know, asking God to help me with is to make sure that when when anyone is pressing my so-called buttons, <laughs> that I learn how to respond in a way that continues to honor him and myself. Mm. So just because somebody else is showing up, I mean, I, I got to go there too. I mean, it's, it's easy to go there, but... I'm finding that if I take that moment and say, God help me, he keeps me from some things. So I did fail quite a few times this week. The <laughs> and, <was> just... <laughs> and, and how and how and how I responded and just immediately I was like, okay, Lord, help help me with this. Like I know, you know, I've been here for a while, 46 years in counting. <laughs> um, but as I as I get older, my my prayer is that 
these these traps that I know that I know are waiting will, will not continue to ensnare me. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Definitely could have done better with uh, some of my responses this week, but thanks be to God, they ain't what they used to be. I didn't, I didn't come, I didn't come a ways in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. The claws didn't come completely out. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Amen. Right. And that just um, it reminds me of a conversation that Salia and I had some years ago about being prepared. Right. Like we know what our Achilles heel is. So does the enemy. Right. You know, so if we know what our Achilles heel is and we know somebody's trying to, <laughs> to get that heel <laughs> and that's to respond. You know, we we can control that. Right. We can't necessarily control. We can't. There's a lot of stuff in this world that we can't control. Right. We can't control how somebody's going to come at us. We can't always control our circumstances. But one thing we can control is how we respond to them, right? Um, so I think it's just so important to know that because I know that this person, especially if it's like somebody you're close to, if it's a spouse, a coworker, whatever, and you know that they can do certain things to rub you the wrong way, you have to, that's why we pray. That's why we, you know, we read the words so we can be prepared uh, for those situations so that we don't respond in a way that's not pleasing to the Lord. So very good. Thank you. I'm glad you guys touch on that subject because I had that the same situation this week. I was actually on the phone with Karen. You know, you know, the family member said a few choice words was getting, and I I, I felt because Kaki said just to ignore him, but I did because you know that's hard for me right there, and I let myself go there because you know me I'm ready to go ham, <laughs> but also I found out when I got a text from my niece, well, it was encouraging. She didn't know nothing about the situation, but the same time it happened, and then you're ready to go there, but the same time you get this text, don't give up. But the failure part was when she said, ignore them, I didn't, because, you know, it's mm -hmm. hard for me to keep my mouth shut when somebody think they, you know what I mean? But yeah. then it also take you out of character as far as your fast and everything you had planned for yourself, because you're so focused on the situation. So I regrouped and just let it go. Yeah. I'm silent mode now. <laughs> Amen. You know, it's, we used to have a saying at my old job at the medical center, if somebody came in acting up, we would say, if you don't feed it, it won't grow. Right. And, you know, so that's what uh, Sister Karen was trying to tell you by just ignore it. Right. Just, you know, just don't even feed into it. Right. Because foolishness needs food to grow. Right. You know, and so, you know, foolishness needs more foolishness to grow. And so and I know that's hard. Right. Because it's like, you know, we be ready quick with the snappy comebacks. But, you know, if we just walk away and just ignore it. You'd be surprised at how how easy, how that stuff just kind of goes away. So good, 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 good. All right, so the next question I have is um, revisiting our question from last week about defining our why, what's our North Star for our, our, our fast is that it helps to recenter us. And you know, when we, fall our, we feel ourselves kind of wavering or going off, what are you expecting or seeking from this journey? So we've kind of heard you know, a, a few people like Sister Debbie shared that more intimacy with the Lord. And you don't have to get super personal about what's on your prayer list, but you know, kind of overall, or you you can if you want to. This is certainly a safe space to do that. But what are you expecting or seeking um, from this journey? Each morning that you get up, what are you what are you expecting and seeking? Um, for me, just consistency in everything. I don't. Um, I have these waves where I'm doing things, or, or you know, like. Focusing on like, okay, making sure like, like Robin, like how you respond to people, you know, and for me, it may not be the words, but the facial expressions and the thoughts and, you know, just constantly just having, you know, that on my mind just to be consistent. And I don't feel as though um, I've been consistent enough. So that's been my focus. That's, that's the focus of this fast. That's my word for the year is just to be con consistent. And so, you know, I think that's why I was kind of frustrated when I did not, you know, read you know those two nights because I want to make sure that I'm doing it no matter what the situation is because I can you know be the person like well I'm on vacation so I'll take you know tonight off or you know I'll take two nights off and then yeah. next you know it's throwing my whole program off so even when I get back home I have to kind of get reacclimated with you know my routine of studying the word you know on a consistent basis so 
um, mm -hmm. just for everything from studying to um, just, again, like just being cognizant of my thoughts and how I respond to stuff. Um, so just that that's my focus. Amen. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. So Leah, I see your hand. Um, yes. Yeah, so for me, um, and I know that this was definitely revealed to me by God, but I'm expecting healing in some areas. Like, um, <clears throat> like I said, he, during the course of my prayer time, he's been in, showing me some areas that I've been neglecting. And I identified that I am really, really hurting on the inside. You know, it's some stuff that I, although I have functioned through those things, I never processed those things. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do right now is actually go through the healing process and not avoid it, not try to put work on top of it or, you know, dodge into my kids so much that I don't process the why in, in, in the situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do that. Like, if I go through something, I don't even look. I try to just get through it and that's it. I don't allow myself to process all of the, the things that went on and how I felt. And so this is the first year that God has allowed me to really like start putting my real feelings and real thoughts on paper and seeing them. Um, so I am expecting to come out of this healed in some areas and grown in some areas and my mindset changed in some areas. Like I know he has so much planned for me and it's scaring me, right? Because it's stuff I would have never thought I would be doing, yeah. but for me to get there, I have to heal and forgive and really, really work on me. You know what I mean? Not for my kids, not for anybody else, but for me, because I have to be right in my heart and in my mind, you know? So yeah. that is what I'm expecting. Um, um, He is already doing that. And, and I think Robin said it, but I'm not too like it, too much liking, you know, what I'm hearing and seeing, because it's like really making me look at me. But I can tell that the process is is beginning and, and and I'm going through what I need to go through. It hurt, but I'm going through it, you know. Amen. Amen. And this is the time for that, right? I mean, because I heard when you talked about how like sometimes you just sometimes you have to compartmentalize things, right? So that you can keep functioning and keep and keep doing what you have to do, you know, in your everyday. But now is the time. Now is the time that, you know, you you have um You've worked up to a point, you know, you've allowed the Lord to transform you in a certain way where now he can take you to that next level, right? And you're, you're, it's not going to be pleasant, you know, and then, like I said earlier, the pruning process is never necessarily pleasant, but it's necessary and it's awesome, you know, if you just allow, the, you know, the, to walk through the, with that, walk through that situation with the Lord, you know, you'll always come out on the other end as pure gold. So amen, sis, thank you for sharing that. So first of all, I want to say I am trying to figure out how to raise my hand on this <laughs> and I cannot, <laughs> but um, can anybody tell me how to do that real quick, but how like I can raise my hand. So, so yeah, you'll if, see. You, if you're at the bottom of your screen, there should be like oh. a little icon that says reactions Reaction. or maybe not. Maybe you got to do it under participants. Oh, I see reaction. Oh, participants, maybe. Yeah, because if you see, I'm I'm not sure if you can see participants like I can, but but it, it just pull up who's on there with participants. If and you, I, I oh, see yeah. reactions, but it give you like the smiley faces, the thumbs up, a high, laughing heart. That's where my raise your oh, hand oh, is. It's with yeah. the reactions. It's under reactions. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Uh, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> so um, mine is kind of basically like um, Celia and what you were saying to be transformed. Um, and I know that it's going to take longer than 21 days, but I love the way the Lord is showing me that to be transformed. I know at one time I would always say, oh, I'm too afraid to do this or too afraid to do that. And a lot of it comes with, um, you know, how I was brought up, like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't, you can't. But as God allowed me to step out and doing things, and, and he's proven and showing me that I can be transformed into the likeness of him and, and what he's doing in my life. So what I, what I want and expect out of this it's trans transformation. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. That's awesome. I love it. Anybody else want to share? Um, yeah, I, you know, I always expect to, um, you know, body, mind, and soul. You know, I, I expect my body to be stronger and healthier. I expect my mind to be healthier, and I expect my spirit to be stronger, you know, to handle all the situations that, you know, may may come my way, especially as a pastor, you know. And so dealing with those things, the whole thing for me is just to keep me uh, physically uh, tuned to everything that's going on around me. So I'm always looking for that um, that um, that steadiness through every situation. Amen. I know for me, I am, I'm really um, asking the Lord to just uh, help to grow my faith, right? I'm just like, like I said, you know, when I talked about my one word is victory. So I want to, I don't, I want to, I really want to walk in that. I really want to walk in um, my purpose and not in my circumstances and be able to traverse through whatever circumstance comes and know that it doesn't catch God by surprise, that he's not um, caught off guard and that, um, you know, I, I can walk with him through whatever circumstance that comes my way and trust him throughout the process. So that's, uh, that's really what I'm, I want to, it's really what I'm expecting from him. Oh, I wanted to say something. Um, like I said, my word for, uh, the, the fast is intimacy, but my, my word for the year is, is holistic. And mm. I just want God to be in every aspect of my life. I don't want to like be just, okay, God, I, 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 I know you have healing powers and can help me with the health, but, um, but this finance stuff, I got to, you know, I, I, I can do that myself. You know, mm. I, I just want him to be the center of everything. Like the, uh, the pastor said, physical, mental, spiritual, Every aspect of my life, I just want to take that holistic approach of God being in the center of it. And I think going through trying to get more intimate, I can rely on him more and know that I'm not doing it myself. You know, it, it's all it's all his, his, him. And I want to be able to do his will in every part of my life or everything. I don't want to not have him missing out on anything. Yeah. And so that's what I'm working towards. Amen. I love it. I love that. I love it. Anybody else want to share? Oh, okay. Um, so oh yeah, Sister Karen. We can't hear you, love. Oh, I didn't have it off. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, is uh, wholeness, but and wholeness, and then my word for the year is embrace, and uh, my sub word is surround to be able to follow God's leading and hear Him whole, and wholeness being my whole total body, and um come up with ways of being able to draw near to him and, and talking to him and listening to him and hearing him. Um, because with, I don't focus so much on the food aspect of it because I, I eat that way anyhow. So mm -hmm. it's not new to me or there's nothing different that I just try to find more creative ways to create a recipe. So I don't want to draw my attention on that. And I said, if my body is whole, you know, I want the wholeness to be starting with him and allowing him to surround me and then me embracing his leading and not me doing the whole leading, but embracing that. So my words are embracing and leading and doing that whole. And I was cracking out with my my failure. It kind of went right into that second question of I always start in like October preparing my body because of my autoimmune disease. So I start preparing it ahead of time so that when that time comes in January, I had those couple months to being able to go right into it so that I don't have any hospital visits. Or I don't have any ER, vi any visits like that. So mine is wholeness, being able to stay on that, that 
that road and being whole in that whole process and not allowing me to lead, but finding God's lead and his direction and asking for greater humility. Hmm. Greater humility is what I'm asking. So that's that's where I am. Amen. Amen. And I did walk past the potato chip aisle in the grocery store for any food aspect. And I bought them. And I said, oh, I'm not going to eat them. But yeah, I did. Then I said, oh, that was so wrong. That was so wrong. You meant to do it. I made that choice. I didn't think about it. I made the choice and just opened it and popped it in my mouth and said, hmm. Then I was chewing and said, did that face of, you meant to do that. So I have a choice. Yeah. Either going to follow through. I'm asking you to, to being able to embrace you. I'm asking you to be, to surround me. So how can I find, if I want to make my own choice? So I made that choice and I yeah. said, no, I have to really focus on the leading. And I usually develop a plan and something that I follow. And this year I was late starting developing that and try to play catch up. But, you know, I have it all synced now where, where I'm headed, but wholeness and yeah. being whole. Yeah. I like then, I like the um the accepting the responsibility of the potato chips, right? Because we can easily justify that, right? You can easily like brush it off and, and come up with some sort of excuse for that, but you owned it, right? <laughs> you know, so that's 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 the biggest thing in that sort of thing is saying, hey, no, I consciously made a choice to go down this aisle, buy yeah, these chips, open this bag, right? You know, it was, this was a premeditated chipping. Yeah, I thought about it. It went way up in court because I sincerely thought about it. Yeah. And there was no thought. I just went down there. Oh, they on sale. You get two for one. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm only going to get one. <laughs> but I did that. Yeah. But I appreciate where God is going and just hearing him and, and concurring with that and allow him to lead me whole, not half. I even asked the physician yesterday about, I'm, I'm curious to what my inside looks like. Mm. And believer, were you able to say that? I said, I'm very curious about what it looks like on the inside when I don't listen to God or when I'm not listening to what he says to me and I'm doing my own thing. What does that look like on the inside? So you got any film on my inside? like from the past into the present to where I can see where I was listening and following his lead and yeah. doing my own thing. I said, I wonder if it's pink. What's the, what's going on in there? I wonder what junk's in there. Yeah. I said, I see that. Can you get my film and then email them to me? So <laughs> put them in my portal. The before so, and after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm waiting on that. Cause I was sincerely, you know, if all of, if I'm doing this with my mind, I'm also doing this with my body and making poor choices, mm. consciously making those poor choices yeah. and not following him. So how can I be surrounded by him and embracing him if I'm not walking in wholeness? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. I like that. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Mm hmm. Um, so before we take prayer requests, I just want to make, I want to make sure, does anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns about the fast, about their process, about the journey that um, the pastor can answer? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, any, any questions, comments, or concerns anybody has that um, you want to bring up before we take some. So I do. Can we yeah. use, can we use sesame oil? Sure. Okay. Yep. Yep, I have some in my cabinet. Yep, sesame oil, olive oil, any of the yep, any of those. You sure can. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Because I'm still on the iron pills, and I'm just trying to find like spinach. If I don't have a like a good meal, me like is a daytime. The early morning is the part, you know. And you'll come down starting at five thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. I still got to take the iron pills. If I don't get a full meal, me did that's when the excuse. You better go get something to eat. You know, like outside what you were supposed to have. Because yeah. if I don't have something in the side, them them iron pills are harsh mm -hmm. on your stomach. And you could do some potatoes. Why? Well, I, I made some good ones tonight. Tell Kaki, tell Butch, I got one up on him. They're good too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, talk about like what are things you can have for breakfast? Yeah, but that's the question. Know, yeah, I made them this evening, but I made enough for tomorrow morning. I can just heat them up. Yeah, eat eat whatever. You can have a salad for breakfast if you want it. <laughs> I he eat breakfast make... for dinner all the time. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, make sure, you know, that you're taking care of yourself too, right? You know, so um, cream of wheat, I know, is very high in iron. I know you're already taking iron supplement, but just something to think about that cream of wheat provides a, a, a like 50% of your daily allowance of iron. Well, I went to the store, I went to it because I did get a lot of stuff for the weekend. They didn't have all things, they didn't have cream of wheat. Oh, of course. Everybody on the Daniel fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other questions, comments? Yes. One last one. Is shredded yeah. wheat okay? The Say it again. I did get shredded wheat in almond milk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shredded wheat is one of the few cereals that does not have added sugar. You have like Cheerios, but Cheerios still has like one gram of sugar, but shredded wheat does not have any added sugar. Yeah, I have been uh, using that with like strawberry and blueberries on top. Mm hmm Yeah. Absolutely. Grits is good too. <laughs> I thought we couldn't have grits. You can have grits as corn. Grits. Oh, okay. Salt and pepper, but you, you just got to make sure that the, the butter is not uh, regular butter. It's they got earth balance or something. Yeah, I got a plant-based butter. Yeah. Avocado yeah. oil. Yep. yep. That's perfect. Um. So, okay, so I know um, we want to keep Sister Virginia and the Ruffin and the Nesbitt family in prayer as the, the transition of her older sister, uh, the... the um, Services will be this Friday, Miss Willie B. Um, I want us to keep Gracious Hawkins in prayer. She has a strep throat. I know um, Erica mentioned on Sunday that she wasn't feeling well. It turns out she actually has strep throat. So we want to keep her in prayer. Um, keep Sister Claudette in prayer. I'm not sure, Rev, is she still in the hospital or is she home? No, she's home. Okay. It's last time I talked to them, they, okay. they, they never figured, it wasn't seizures, but they hadn't figured out what it was. And I haven't got a report yet. Okay. All right. Right. I no. talked to her last night and she is home. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And um, I'm Sister Salia, I know you're on the call, but I'm just going to go on and mention Sister Salia wants us to keep her in prayer. She's got a surgery that's coming up. So we just want to pray over that, pray over that whole process um, as she goes into that. So what other prayer requests do we have? And I can get the enriched foods. I don't have to take them iron pills. So, what, say that again. So you can do what? Foods would, you know, kind of take over. I don't have to deal with them iron pills. Okay. Okay. Foods to help you digest the iron pill. Sister Karen. You call me? Yes, ma'am. Did you have your hand up to for a prayer request? Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever took it down. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> That's but, okay. Yeah, I just, make pray sure. for, just pray for family. I pray for families, okay. families, family unit, uh, our, our extended family, the church family. Just pray for families, okay. and also the state of our nation. Okay. Uh, this is Aaliyah. So I'm putting this out there because we, I really want prayer for it this week. But if it does happen, I'm gonna um use it as a testimony on Sunday. But both of my boys, we think that they might have gotten honor roll this uh, marking period. Mm -hmm. um, and so just keep that in prayer. I am so excited because last year was a struggle. And both of them, Anthony got all of his grades are 80 and above. A um, Aiden, he had some 80s and 90s, but he got 170. So we're not sure if he actually made it with that 70. But I'm talking about they both are excited. Like they were mad. They had a snow day today because we couldn't find out. So Please keep that in prayer. If they do make honor roll, I will be putting them on blast on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amen. Sister Debbie. Uh, just keep Reggie in prayer. He goes in for surgery on um, Thursday. He's He had a number of tests yesterday and today. And uh, unofficially, they're giving him the go ahead. So okay. when he goes to the doctor, he should be, be good to go. Uh, he's still having um, labored breathing. We were in ur urgent care on Sunday again, and they had to give him a, a double breathing treatment. So just keep that situation in prayer. Absolutely. Is this surgery going to be in York or in Maryland? In York. Okay. Yeah, Reggie, all his doctors are in York. I'm the only one still traveling to Maryland. Okay. I don't know. I know that's right, Sister Richardson. That was me when I lived in York. I would come to Maryland in a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was telling Pam this uh, Sunday, but um, please keep um, Mike and his family in prayer. Um, um, they, they have been hit hard with a lot of their family members, 
either battling cancer, including his father, um, mm. as well as because he has prostate cancer, um, as well as his aunt who has breast cancer and his cousin who is younger than him who has stage three lung cancer. Um, mm. so just, um, just keep them in prayer because um, uh, my mother-in-law is really, um, she's feeling it right now. She's the most healthy one out of all of them. And so like, She's the matriarch right now and they're all leaning to her and she feels as though she has to, you know, be there for everyone. So I think she's really um, feeling it because it, it is a lot right now. Absolutely. Thank you. Audrey? I'm just um, asking that we keep our youth in prayer that they are led uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Tashia? Pop in here real quick, y'all. I'm at work, but I've been listening. Okay. But I just ask that y'all keep me and my colleagues and everybody that I work with in y'all prayers because we've been having some issues and it's going to have to get bumped all the way up to HR. So I just ask that y'all allow, well, I ask that y'all pray for God to allow us to take the right steps and if it's time for us to go, go, whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, Pray for us. Amen. Absolutely. We sure will. We sure will. Anything else? I ask that you guys keep my mom in prayer. Um, she's still uh, kind of struggling with her blood pressure and uh, just a, a lack of energy or motivation to do things. So I'm just asking that you all please keep her in prayer. All right. Anything else? Rev, could you please close us in prayer, please, sir? Sister Johnson, yes. Um, can I ask you a question? Can you um send me those uh prayer requests from last week and this week, please? I sent the ones from last week via email. If you didn't get them, let me know and I can resend it. I I, I didn't see them. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 make sure text me and make sure I have the right email address for you. No, you do because okay. I got the yeah I I. I just didn't see it in there, but. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, yeah, but yes, I certainly go send these out again as, as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Father God, we thank you for this time you've given us to, to be able to just um, talk about our journey as we, we journey down this road of the Daniel fast, Lord. We, we thank you for the conversation and communication between um, your children, Father, as we discuss our ups and our downs, our joys, our successes, our failures, as we are free to discuss and talk about those things so that we all can be strong and we all can be better. Uh, in the midst of that, Father, there are plenty of prayer requests there. There were many that were spoken, but there were probably more unspoken, Father. So we pray right now, Lord, that you would bless and touch every situation that was uttered, even those that were not uttered, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would simply have your way. We know that you are the author and finisher of our faith. We know that um, you can do all things, and we know that nothing's impossible for you, Father. So we simply pray for everyone who was on this call, whether they are still here or had to leave early, Lord, we pray that you would just give them uh, everything they need as they travel this journey uh, to draw closer to you, to get their their their, their health together, to get their bodies uh, uh, straight so they can focus on you, to get their minds stronger in you, Father, so they can their spirits can also uh, grow. Uh, we pray, Lord, that they would take this time to truly get to know you because in the grand scheme of things, 21 days is not a long time, Father, when you've given us a lifetime, Lord. So allow us to just stay focused on those things, Lord, as we travel, Father, that we might be all that you've called us to be. So bless now, Lord, and keep us, Lord, as only you can. We thank you for the mount. We thank you for the sisters and the brothers of the mount, Father. We simply pray, Lord, that you would uh, have your way. You know everything that's happening to us. You know every. Uh, medical procedure, you know, every uh, spiritual thing happening, you know, every um, secular thing that's happening, you know, everything that's going uh, through our minds and transpi transpiring in our hearts, Father. And so whatever it is that is um, people are wrestling with, Father, I pray that you meet them there. I pray that you touch them there, Lord, and, and let them know, Lord, that you can pin any situation to the mat and allow them to stand up, Father. So bless now, Lord, and keep us only. You can cover us till we're able to meet again, Father. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I appreciate everybody's transparency and sharing. It's important for us to encourage each other along the journey. God bless you. Have a great evening. See hey, before, you before, before, at Bible study. before we cut off, hey, uh, Karen, did, did you get a um, a copy of uh, Sister Virginia's? Because the, the, I had it on my email somewhere and I can't find it. The copy of the program because I got a program that was sent to me, but I have no idea where it is. No, I don't have one. I don't have a copy of the program at all. all right, let me, let me check. Somebody sent it to me, but I don't see it anywhere because I wanted to get it posted on our Facebook page. But all right, we'll take care of it. Okay, okay. All right. Uh huh. Bye bye. All right, y'all have a great Bye-bye. evening. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Mister Pam. You're welcome. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.